I think what's happening now is a big macroscopic trend. And that is the use of machines that are controlled automatically. And there's a virtuous circle of a lot of things that have to happen to be able to do that. Um, but fundamentally, there's a rationale. And we've created a big sensor network on machines that we make, downhole tools, above ground tools, and we can generate a lot of information, more information than people can handle in real time. So the issue is how to take the information we generate in real time, apply it against what you might call an algorithm, something that says, here's what we predict the behavior to be based on the information we have, and compare it to what we actually just measured with all these sensors that we've created. And with that result, determine that a corrective action may or may not need to be taken. But the corrective action has to be done automatically. So it's, it's fast, we're processing more information than people can process in real time in their minds, and yet we're trying to take our actions in real time. So this whole network, or this whole cycle, sensing, measuring, uh, testing against an algorithm and creating a control action that actually does something to a machine has to happen in real time. And as we start to infiltrate that into the whole industry, it will, by its very nature, take people out of the decision-making process. And the purpose of that is not to take people out for cost. The purpose is to take people out so that we can make better decisions faster and create solutions that have higher productivity, better fidelity to a predicted outcome, as opposed to occasionally people make mistakes or don't understand enough of the information that they have at their hands in real time to make the correct action. We're watching uh, two examples of how that has worked in other industries. Airplanes, for example, have long been flown by themselves. Too much information to process, pilots make mistakes. So if you've taken an airplane flight recently, most likely it wasn't taken off by the pilot, it was taken off by a computer. It wasn't flown by the pilot and it wasn't landed by the pilot. So that's been uh, in, instantiated into that industry for actually a pretty long time with a lot of uh, developments that had to be created to make that happen. So it's a fascinating time for us because I think this is the big macro trend which is going to change how oil fields work. It's more likely to be a group of experts sitting someplace centrally watching a lot of activity occur which is being autonomously driven with very few humans to intervene at the actual well site.